Yo, what's good? What's Beats, up, beers, and blunts. Yeah. Episode five. Dang. We are actually right now live on Periscope. If you haven't checked out Periscope, you should get that. You can live broadcast. You can follow me at Noby Inf Gang. See all our podcasts. Shout out to the zero people watching us on it now. Yeah. But we on here though. So, right. how's everybody doing? What, what is everybody drinking, man? Man. I need to hit somebody's Wait, beer. Wait, you didn't even, 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 even say who was on the damn podcast yet, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, introduce yourself and show you show them what you're drinking. Uh, well, Jay Harmony is drinking the good old uh, OG Shatterproof uh, High Life right now. High Life. You know what I'm saying? It's a sad day. We're still on these plastic <laughs> bottles. RG3, aluminum can, 211, still reserve, aluminum can. Nigga, that's how we do it. Nigga. Noise. Drinking. I'm drinking what y'all drinking. Military Me great, man. Me that. Alright. Cats over here drinking uh 40 ounces of that Mickey's. Shatterproof? On the shatterproof side. Present <laughs> bang right here drinking this pinky plastic fucking Mickey's. Grandpa reporting from the back of the couch. No, I gave him a fuck. He's like kinda like remember Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse where he had the couch <laughs> that would talk? That's bank. <laughs> That's bank. Bank is the couch. <laughs> so yeah. Um How's everybody doing, man? How you doing, Roman? I'm feeling amazing. How about what, the, you what are you playing on Don't your worry phone? about what I'm doing, man. I'm out here having a good ass time, kicking it with my friends. He's playing the Tinkerbell game, man. This shit. Uh, what the fuck? Nah, nah man. It's the, it's, it's, the, it's the frozen. Oh, game. party oh, foul! I know what game I'm playing. Hello, Kili. I am the Fisher. That's I'm playing. I'm playing a new Frozen game, bro. Let it go. Nice. Frozen. How you been, Jay? Chilling, man. I'm high as fuck, bro. <laughs> high as fuck. <laughs> Nah, I'm, try- I'm just trying to like, <coughs> fucking see what that uh, new video do, because uh, that shit's coming out real fucking yeah. soon. Hell yeah, we just got our, as you can see in the background, we got a green screen. Shout out to Singular for hooking that one up. Yeah. Um, shout we're going to be, <coughs> yeah, shout out Singular, Ooh. Santa Rosa's finest. Um, yeah, man, we've been working on J Harmony's video, <laughs> this new Mew joint where. That shit is going to be crazy. Crimazy. Basically, like Jay Harmony getting taken to fucking an eight bit world and just being a human in the eight bit yeah. world. It's pretty fucking. Is nuts. Mew gonna be in it? Uh, yep. Absolutely, <coughs> Mew's gonna be in it. That's my right. yep. point. Yeah. Yep. I got a pet Mew at the house. It's under my bed. I got a pet Mew. You know under your bed. bed. Yes. What does it eat? Soul socks. I don't know. It don't ever actually eat socks, anything. Socks. It eats hella fucking athletic foot socks. You know what it eats? The fucking. The no Cheerios? No Cheerios. You're a stoner and you ain't got shit to eat in your room? What is this? It eats candy wrappers. Candy wrappers. There it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, fucking blunt yeah. guts. Pun intended. <laughs> How you been, cats? You doing alright? You hanging in there? Getting by. Yep. Oh! Big shout out to everybody who donated Yee! to Big B's hey! Memorial Fund. We appreciate everybody, man. Once again, RIP Big B. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do you want to make an announcement for this memorial? Should we keep that under wraps? Um, yeah, I think the people would know about it. All right, and you can still you can still donate to the GoFundMe that we have up there too for him, and uh, you know what I'm saying that'll help out for his son. That's pretty dope. Um, so make sure you check that out. Anyways, uh, first topic of the day is yes. Stitches versus Tyga versus Kylie Jenner. Versus cocaine. I put that brick in your face. I put that dick in your face. Fuck out ya. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, I guess so. Fucking uh, In Touch magazine, which is like one of those fucking magazines that fucking preteens look at and shit. I was I was in Safeway, right? I'm in I'm in line about to pick up some shit, and uh, I see over there it says Kylie Jenner and Tyga in violent rap war. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I picked that shit up. I'm like, wait. You're, you tell me Stitches is in In Touch magazine? Oh! Wow. Opened that shit up, looked at it. I guess supposedly what happened was Kylie Jenner was like at some event or something like that, and some person ran up behind her and grabbed the back of her hair and did what's that? Yaga! Yaga the bitch. Uh, so I guess that has something to do with that. But before yeah. that, I guess Stitches fucked her on a random ass night. I guess they were doing hella coke. And uh, dick in the yeah, <laughs> the dick did. and the brick and I guess it was stitches and his homie. Stitches. Oh, they yeah. both fucked. Yeah. So do them ink monsters. They both suck at me. Oh no no, Ink Monster uh introduced him. Yeah, I was reading that part too that he introduced him and then. Is it when she was seventeen? Or stitches. Yep. Yep. Oh, I think it was yeah. Yeah. Oh, who knows that? So snitching. Who knows that? Him? What if it was that? What if it was a birthday night? I know, right? Yeah. <coughs> 
<laughs> Damn, Tiger really got fucked up for that one then. And let's be honest here, Stitches is supposed to be 18. Tiger's what? Is yeah, he's 18, 19. No, he's 22. Well, when he first came out. He yeah, he's like 22. That was like this last year. Literally. He's 22. He was not 18, bro. He was like he was 19 not. when he first came out. He's like 21 now. But yeah, anyway, so I guess what happened was Tyga and his management, hold on, his management company uh, sent out a, uh, what is that, Roman, where cease, cease and desist. desist. Mm-hmm. But he said, please uh, stop talking about this or, and I guess it went from some legal shit to some actual physical threats, like we're going to fuck you up so now t- now uh stitches is talking about well so i got ten thousand dollars right i got ten thousand dollars for tiger's chain and if he really has a problem with it which i know he does come see me and we can handle it with the hands which is pretty fucking gas i mean i think it's i, I you know stitches kind of let me down musically but as a character he's a fucking he's a nut job guess, bro yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you look at it like entertainment that. wise he's a fucking nut guy uh, He's bringing back that old shit in rap where motherfuckers used to really do crazy ass shit like Eminem in the bathroom pistol whipping somebody and some crazy ass, you know, just out of the booth type shit. That man is trying to fight Tiger over a bitch, period. No, he's trying to, no, he fucked her. He said that Tiger, no, he said it wasn't even about that. No, that's not what he said. He said the reason he wants to fight, he said the reason that he's giving uh, Tiger that chance is because he says, I know damn good and well. Tyga is mad that I fucked his bitch. So if he has a problem with me fucking his bitch, he can come see me. He's, He's not saying I'm like in that. love with her. Does that make you look tough talk saying that to Tyga? Does yeah, it did you. Thank you. Oh, oh, no, but really if he if Tyga really wants to get at him and he wants to have a fight, then He's why not? surfing on this Slim Jesus hype right now because they were comparing Slim Jesus to this man when he first came out. He's surfing on that little wave. Right Here's my now. take on it. Yeah. Stitches <laughs> is no longer relevant. In the, the big world that he got blown up at at Word. first, he did do the gathering. He does still do shows, but he's not huge on the mainstream circuit how he was when he first came out. Like Slim Jesus kind of is right now. Mm-hmm. So, you know, shout out to our one viewer on Periscope, by the way. Whether or not he, you play, boy. whether or not he fucked her, I feel like it's still publicity stuff. And at the end of the day, he's trying to fight Tiger over a bitch. Yeah, over yeah, a bitch. Yeah. Saving these hoes. Save. <laughs> Captain. Yeah, but it's a crazy ass situation, man. I'm just, I just like it that, I just like it that fucking Stitch has gotten into like a preteen magazine. This shit is pretty fucking funny. <laughs> that is insane, right there. Just, I mean, you could always see Tiger being there because he's super mainstream, but it's just funny as fuck that the character that is Stitches did yeah. that. Like he's scary. Yeah, but he's fucking, he's a nutcase. But anyways, hey, y'all niggas see the diss track he did on Tiger? <laughs> yeah, I seen, seen the little Instagram snippet. It was hella can, huh? Yeah, it was. Bro, that song can. was so terrible. Weak. It was weak as fuck. <laughs> She's on, alive, man. she's alive. What's it called? She's I a motherfucking lie. Kylie yeah, Jenner is a she's liar. She's alive. There you go. She's oh. alive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was pretty fucking it's sad. It's whack as fuck. That shit was pretty sad. But, um... Yeah, anyways, next topic, man. So I guess Fetty Wap, the Cyclops, fucking got into a uh, got, into, got into a motorcycle accident. I guess he did it. Cats, Cats was saying that, I guess, Cats was saying, I guess, that he didn't have a license, right? Because yeah, no license. No you have to do a, a test, right? You have to do a, a sight test. At least an eye test. He's getting hit wow. with bad citations right now. Citations? <laughs> ah! But no, but also, I do all my nigga, or did he pull through or, or not? I don't know. Yeah, he's he's right. or whatever. Say he he gonna be good. Good. Okay, that's good. No, I'm just, I don't want to see all the kids her like that. That's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Falling off a bike. That's not cool. What? But, but what that the fuck was you riding a bicycle with one eye? Hey man, he's just trying to live, bro. He's trying to live, man. He just and the fucked up part is that was it. You ever heard the term "live within your means"? No, that's real shit. Live within your means, dog. It's easy for us to say that now, though. But if you ain't got an eye and somebody tries to tell you. Man, you shouldn't be doing hey, that. You're going to be like, fuck you. shouldn't be riding a motorcycle because you might die. You but, might hurt somebody, too. But, yeah, I don't know. That shit's crazy. But anybody hear his album? No. I know. I was slapping it for these guys earlier. It's sure, nothing sure. It's nothing but just yeah, we like. we were really hoping you would turn it off. It was, yeah, we were hoping he turned it off. It was nothing but, but like, poppy ass <laughs> Fetty Wap saying, <laughs> like, that singing shit. But that's just something that I could just slap when I'm just like. They were listening to fuck. Casey Veggie's album and I was disappointed by that. Yeah, that yeah, shit sucked Casey too. Just sucked. Nah, that shit was cool. Yeah, it was Casey. You sucked. might like it though. You have a different like. Oh, okay. You like that kind of smoother. Uh, little yeah, bit of shit. I wanted, I wanted that was so this, fucked up. I wanted to hear yeah, Casey Veggie's album. You shit. might like that. Ha <laughs> 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 Nah, I don't mean like that, <laughs> but. No, I, I do We just all have different opinions. Hey, I can slap Fetty Wap and not be tripping. It's all about opinion. 
That is pretty funny. What y'all think about that little motherfucker afro? Oh, uh, the nigga that's getting sponsored by like, Honda or something like that. By, uh, Honda, by RA? Honda. He's also sponsored by like some car. Honda, no, sponsored him for a commercial. <laughs> they did a commercial about what? him. What? Yeah, I guess he won an RA the Rugged Man commercial, and then RA the Rugged Man pretty much took him under his wing. <coughs> contest. He's pretty dope. I mean. <laughs> He won a contest. He won a commercial. He won a commercial. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, mm-hmm. Oh well, he won a commercial in the long run, anyways. Oh shit. But um, yeah, he's. I mean, he's pretty dope. Uh, I guess he's just kind of like um, a nerdy fucking like cipher rapper. That's pretty much like trying to be super hip hoppy. I guess. Good, though. I, yeah, yeah, no, nah. Heard any of his music yet? Yeah, I have. Them be the niggas with the bars too. It's yeah, cool. Got bars. <laughs> <laughs> I look at him more like a Biggie type rapper. Like his voice is hella like super <laughs> monotone, like deep. But yeah, he's be he be flowing. I think he's trying to be kind of R.A. the rugged manny though. Like he's like. He you know. does have a hella already the rugged man style. That's usually yeah, how they end up getting shows, right? Yeah, somebody but. fitting into their spectrum. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Hey, it's working. Yeah, yeah it's, it's working, exactly working for sure. Like and he's like, I think he's not even 18 yet, which is... Not 17. Yeah, he's 17. He won the contest when he was 16, and DJ Premier is helping him work on his album. Well, I salute that just because you a young nigga and you making moves, right? Bruh, making it happen. DJ Premier is helping him make his album. And that's a... Big fucking step, bro. Oh my that god, bro. You know what that's the biggest. Do that's the biggest hip hop cosign you could get possibly get, right now, as, as far as production wise. To get that's one beat from Primo, that's probably. But that's, that's not hip hop wise. Though. That's more. There go, there go the popos. But um, yeah. Uh, Alex Moore, yeah nah, he's dope. But uh, next, next thing is uh, Future and Drake came out with a collabo album. What last week? I ain't know what the album. Also, awesome. yeah, it's an album. They just sold three hundred fifty thousand dollars or three hundred fifty thousand copies, copies yeah. which I'm is gonna, fucking I'm crazy. Still start from fucking um, from half back real quick. Somebody boo these men. Yeah, that album. That shit sucks. You know Did you about? hear the whole album? I heard the whole album, but I don't. I'm regretting. Well, yeah, shit wasn't even that. I don't want to listen to it just because I feel like that would be a nice little blend. You know what I'm saying? That's that. Just listen, just hearing it. I feel like, like it was way too much. To tell you I, it was way too much future it, on it. It sounded yeah. like a future album featuring Drake. Yeah. Right now. Oh, okay. Then it's why. Like I was just waiting for like wack. Drake parts. Drake the was Drake parts to, like, were dope. Be like future. He nah. Was trying to accommodate features. I don't feel that way. I feel like Drake definitely, uh, I think he brought his own shit. I was basically just waiting for Drake to come on during the project because Future was just that. That same old shit. So basically, you know what it was I mean? like Future's dominating style. Right. Like this shit was dominating. But Future, Future with Drake is a dominating style, anyways, though, because it's just so. When Drake's by himself, he don't sound like Future. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? That's what and I'm saying. I don't, know, I don't agree with him trying to sound like Future. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. You're yeah. trying yeah. to sound like Migos. Who did? Drake. Well, yeah, but Drake is the type of person that, if you look at the Fetty Wap Come My Way song, he what he does is he gets creative with your with your type of like vibe. If you listen to the song, he fucking in the remix to Come My Way, he fucking did a dope ass verse trying to like he's sound like, like it. I feel like he's like game, like he tries to sound like the person he's on the record with. Yeah, or I think like, that's time or do it at other times too. Cause Drake didn't just do the Migos sound when he was with Migos. He did it other times too. Yeah. And then he did yeah. the I Love McConan shit. Sound like I Love McConan. Yeah, but I think he's just vibing off. I mean, I understand that. Like, I vibe off other people's creativity when I'm in yeah. the studio. Yeah, you know what I mean? Collabs though. Only yeah. like features though. You don't really do that like when you're doing a mixtape. You know right. And when you're doing a mixtape with somebody. Anyway, yeah, yeah. The mixtape fucking sucks. Nah, it's actually an album though. Since we're talking about mixtapes, uh, yeah. is anybody else used for the Kendrick J. Cole shit? It's fake. No? Yeah, it's fake. No, they, no, they were talking about doing it's the mixtape. They've been, they've been talking, talking about doing it. They've been talking about doing it. Yeah, but the one, you know, the cover that, that I posted, that shit was fake. Hey, I'm just, I'm just, I figured out. I'm still juiced at the fucking shit, right? Yeah. That was, yeah. Like that shit. That was actually like a graphic designer who just put that together, but that was fucking tight. I mean, that would be that would be crazy. That shit's gonna be crazy, bro. I think that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, definitely. Um, so anybody, anybody got any information on Rich Homie Quan smoking in front of his kid? Supposedly got in trouble. So was he smoking like with her, like on his, like in his lap? Like, yeah. Some shit like yeah. That. Blowing the smoke up in the air like that. <clears throat> I think he didn't uh, He was already smoking and then the kid like came probably in. Probably jumped on his lap. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, Man, that's, that's a little less bad, but I guess. Shit. Well, I'm, I'm fucking but like, the only reason I'm saying like, who am I to judge, bro? Yeah, I ain't got no kids. Game, man, man. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like people
people that are outside of the states that the weed is legal were throwing such a big ass fit. Right. But they be the same motherfuckers that get shit faced and drink moonshine and all that shit. Or whatever. Before they come here and let them <laughs> free. And come home and beat come their here, you're gonna tie my shoelaces. Right, right. Oh, fuck that. I mean, what do are, what are people feel about that? Do you feel like, Roman, do you feel like that's an okay thing to do in front of your kid? I feel like not in front of toddlers. Nah, nah. But you know, they do say that a mom can actually smoke a little bit of weed while she's pregnant. <laughs> yeah, still yeah cool, nah, definitely. Still nah, not cool. I, I, but no, I hell, like, shit, still be right? a healthy baby, actually. Yeah, yeah, still be, like, actually, it might even improve. Yeah, but I wouldn't shit. want her smoking blunts. I would want her, like, yeah. vaping, you know? Yeah, saying? right. No, yeah, 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 of course. Smoking out of a pipe, like, um, the purest form, not even papers, you know what I'm saying? Like, not in that any form. I feel like it's like religion. You shouldn't just throw it in the kid's face. Yeah, yeah, yeah work, work. That's work. a good yeah, point. You know what I mean? That's a good point. Let the little motherfucker choose. Exactly. There you go. Because in the problem sets in there, like me, I was smoking, I was fucking, my first time I was smoking nine. I was 18. And I was avid when I was 11, 12. Oh, damn, but it was because I seen it. You know what I mean? My daddy used to have me roll joints for him. Right. Damn. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but that's a, and a lot of people in our generation now too, I bet you, man, 80, 70, 80% of them will smoke in the same room as their kid with, with weed, bro. I bet you. Like, I know I don't do that, but I, I, you know. You also don't have kids. Right. But I'm saying, but I would never, like, if my nieces came over, I would never yeah, be exactly. smoking in the room. Well, yeah. see, that's a different that's a different line right there, too. That's because there's a line between your kid and your niece or nephew or, you know what I mean? Like, you got to answer to yourself as a parent or to the other. <coughs> you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you smoke in front of your kid, that's your wrong doing on yourself. You, you're putting your kid in that shame. Right. If you consider it shit. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You do it in front of your niece. That's that's you you, you got to answer kid. to your brother or sister or whoever's kids there. Right. And my parents grew up smoking <laughs> cigarettes me right too. in front of me, so. Me too. Me and too, damn near in the car while we were yeah. driving. Yeah. Yeah. I used to catch yeah. ashes for the back Right. Seat. My grandma, my aunts, my yeah. uncles, like, everybody was smoking. We dealt with it, dog. We just and we ain't turning out too fucked up. <laughs> know, <right? laughs> we all right. But yeah, I don't know. I guess it's it's kind of everybody's different no, opinion. Exactly. But. That's why I say I don't want to judge. Uh, to be all the way honest, though, there go the cops again. But uh, <laughs> talking about weed um, but oh, yeah. and illegal shit. But anyways, I feel like in the future, weed's going to be kind of like just drinking. Like parents drink in front of their kids. They're going to be probably just ingesting fucking... <laughs> snacks and shit well, that are weed laced. Well, I feel like ain't shit parents gonna be ain't shit parents, bro. So right. Whether they're smoking, wow, that's real shit. Is, I'm, I'm hey, that's real shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you smoking, you drinking. You know what I'm saying? I I, I grew up with people whose parents did fucking hard drugs in front of them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so you know what I'm saying? Like we come, like you said, we come from a different generation. We come now. We're living in a sensitive generation. We well, have yeah, the internet and so many uh, resources and information. And information. It's like people are more whiny now, bro. Oh, well, because dude. you can catch you can catch a parent now. smoking meth on camera. I know. And upload it. Back then, it was like it just happened. search Google right. enough, you will find it. <laughs> right. Straight up. Well, that's what that's what I get into like issues with the older generations, like 40, 50 years old, because nowadays everything is in our fucking face, like <laughs> death, yeah. life. Illegal activities, everything. You can debate back then. Everything was so shadowed because it would never be, it would never see the light of day, or people would just keep it cool. And nowadays, these older people don't don't want to talk about issues like that. You know what I'm saying? Like so it's too taboo, or something. right? It's too taboo yeah. because it's better to be not spoken about yeah. than that. But they say if if you don't talk about history, it repeats itself. So exactly. But either way, but uh, next subject, uh, the game versus star. Uh, the game, the rapper, of course. I guess he was. At the Breakfast Club in New York, and I guess DJ Envy had some funk with Star, who used to be a Hot 97 DJ. They've been had funk. Well, yeah, well, and like, like, what is it about? What was they funk about? Man? I don't even know. It's uh, some older shit, I think, right? It's uh, because Just Star, I'm going to tell you what it was. <clears throat> Star used to work for Hot 97. And he actually yeah, has he had a, a show. He had a show with somebody, I think. He actually, uh, he actually has a, a problem with Ebro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then somehow it traveled on to, <coughs> I, it's, it's, uh, Envy said something, I don't know. Basically, Star used to work for the radio stations and shit. He used to work for Hot 97, and I think he went to Breakfast Club, or before it was Breakfast Club, and was working for that radio station. You know how it is. You got problems with old co-workers. Yeah, yeah. so, but anyways, um, so Game, I guess, got on to the Breakfast Club and was saying that, uh, some shit basically on DJ Envy's side said that he would 
I think, knock him out or choke him out. Break his jaw. Break his jaw. Break Star's jaw. And I guess, and then Star went on, I guess, the next day on YouTube and did like an 8 to 12 minute video about um, how game threatened him and blah, blah, blah. But I guess he alerted the authorities. And now I think the uh, New York Police Department says game cannot come back to New York. Probably a terroristic threat is what I'm yeah, assuming that the charges like are. That. No, but, that's just crazy. How is that terrorist threat now? No, that's just crazy. That's just crazy. Back in the day, it was like, yo, I'm going to meet you after Back 13 and I'm going to slap the shit at you. No, right. And that was it. Now it's like, yo, I'm going to sock you. But like you oh, said, people are more sensitive these days, so that's yeah, what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's but also, violent, everything is violent, on camera. Violent. If if it wasn't on camera, we never would have seen the light of day. If it was just on social media, and, too. and you almost gotta remember that we are dealing with hip hop. You know, police are very sensitive about hip hop. <clears> you right. know what I'm saying? So they'll they'll fuck with you in a minute, like especially like if you call them like oh like such and such and gonna shoot me. Right. And on that note, I, I do not allow Facebook to use any of my pictures, information, and la la, and I'm about to pay my five ninety nine. As, as of 11.30 a.m. p.m. Uh, September 29th. Hey, but here's the crazy part about that situation, because like I told you earlier, I think it's corny. People think it's that some hard shit by gang, gangster. Star's like 50-something years old. I know, right? He's an old man, first off. Second off... If you're really from the streets, you don't talk about that shit. That's the one thing I hate is when people get on the internet. It's like, yo, this person, fuck this person. I'll see him, I'm going to slap him. Bro, you have a fake. Just do that shit. You what if him? he's just saying it, though, just to say it? But see, you know what? That game has an issue of doing shit like that. He always does that shit. But he does knock people out, though, which that. is dope. Yeah, I like that he knocks though. rappers out. Game does that a lot, though. I, I fuck with him on that, though. Uh, oh, that number? Oh, 40 this. Glock, you he got... He didn't knock out 40 Glock. Did what? you see the video? Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. Knock him out. Yeah. You mean 40 Glock was on the ground sleeping? No, but he okay, got knocked out. Knocked out. He fell the fuck over that's and couldn't could get back up. Everybody who's gotten a fight and has gotten the upper hand or bottom hand has gotten dropped in a fight. That doesn't mean you get knocked out. All right, Grandpa. Knocked out and sleeping. Come All on. right, yep. Uh, now, here's, so here's the other thing I was going to say, though. Star, on his behalf, that's some faggot shit because there's actually uh, a thing where he went to... Uh, what was it? I want to say it was the Cassidy battle. When Cassidy battled Disaster. Mm. And he was running around talking about, where's Ebro? When I see him, I'm going to slap the shit out of him. So you're on camera talking about you're going to slap the shit out of this dude. But the game says it to you and you call the police. And now, you know, you're a victim. Could just be out of anger, though, regardless. <laughs> I mean, fuck. But how can you can't play victim when you're trying to be the, uh, the aggressor in, a, in another situation? Right, you know exactly. I mean? So I guess we'll see what happens with that situation if... I mean, I'm sure Game is going to have to come back to New York at some time to fucking do some shows or something. So, you know, we'll see how that turns out. But uh, next subject is, uh, damn, this man just ran into something hella hard. Uh, the next subject is this Kid Frost situation. Who wants to speak on that? Ooh, I'll, I'll speak on it because I don't know about it. I'm older. Well, Y'all I'm, know who Kid Frost is? Yeah. Kid Frost is an old school uh, West, Coast, West Coast Latin rapper. He used to paint his face like a clown. Uh, old ass. Uh, I'm gonna. Sp- I ain't gonna speak on his ties or nothing. But he got signed to Ruthless back in the day. What is he a juggalo? Nah, he's nah. not. He's a. Uh, he's a. He's a. He's a. He's a Southern Mexican, an LA rapper. And uh, he's just an OG in the game. But he was one of Easy E's artists. And basically, he says he knows how Easy E got it. And it all ties back into everybody talking about the, the dirty needles. Yeah, someone poked him with a dirty needle, and the doctor or Shook Knight did it. But he claims acupuncture. Acupuncture. It was a dirty acupuncture needle. Damn. Now, what do you think about that? Because I've always been scared to get acupuncture. I think acupuncture is it can be very helpful with disease and fucking and aches and pains and shit. But <laughs> I, I I'm assuming that that could actually fucking happen though, because a lot of AIDS patients have like severe fucking medical, you know, like probably aches and pains from that shit, so you know, just like any cancer victim would probably want to go get acupuncture as well so that, you never know, it might have happened, it might have been let's just say for sake that's true though they don't study who, their, their patients, they don't, they save their needles there's been shit, there's been worse shit happen where people get blood transfusions and accidentally get HIV from that, so I wouldn't, I would definitely not put it past an acupuncture uh, office that probably isn't as good as they think they are and accidentally fuck something up. You know what I mean? Like, now, that could easily what happen. This, what if this is, is, is this is the first time I've ever heard anything like this happen with acupuncture? 
Like, I, you never, you usually will hear some shit like, a uh, woman goes to get acupuncture, you have know, AIDS. You know what I mean? Like, you don't, I've never heard of anything like that before. Well, well yeah, but there's a, always a first time for everything, <laughs> though. Yeah, I'm saying there's a lot of But the only time? You don't hear about, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you, but Easy e is a high profile case. Yeah. There, you never know. There, there's probably, you could probably go on Google right now and find 500 crazier different shit cases. Has happened. Yeah, crazier no, yeah, shit yeah, for sure happened. But you've never, have you ever heard of anything like that happen? No! 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 Oh, oh no! I'm not gonna push, I'm not gonna push the, uh, the keyboard back a little more. We gotta yeah. turn. Well, anyways, we're still on. We're still live, but uh, continue, continue. I mean, I've never heard anything like that happen. If that's the case, that should definitely make a motherfucker more scared to go get acupuncture. True. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why I, I've always been like, because they say it's, it's like a meditation. It's supposed to calm you down, hit your nerves or something like that, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Bruh, after I seen the fucking, uh, what's that one? The Nutty Professor? Man, I was like, fuck that. That motherfucker had like two million needles in it. But see, I didn't think, see, when I saw that, when I, <coughs> initially, when I saw it like that, I was like, I don't like that hurt, but I'm like, ah, oh, those needles are like so motherfucking thin. Right. I just felt like a little, maybe a little tiny pinch. Right. Yeah. Right on your skin. Bam, 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 bam. Then once in, it don't hurt anymore. Yep. So, you know, but, but who knows? Do you guys think actually Suge Knight could be involved in that? Nah, no. I watched it. Uh, uh, I, I watched a bunch of conspiracy videos on it, and um, Suge Knight's involved in way too much shit. A lot of the think, shit that they were yeah. talking about he's was a fucking evil. Dude. I don't That's think he's part of that though. A lot of shit they were talking about was because uh, they were like, who had who who would have benefited more from it? And I think that if anybody did have to do anything to do it, it would be Tamika Ride. Yeah, <clears throat> That's who I think so. If what that's makes a big that, conspiracy, though. because <clears throat> who had who who gained the most off of DZ Dark? <clears throat> uh, true. Yeah. Dr. Dre was already blowing up. Ice Cube was already doing this thing. He was on yeah, yeah, doing yeah. uh, he already Lynch did Mob, fucking Lynch doing Mob. movies, yeah. doing movies. Oh yeah, that was around Friday and shit. Yeah, it was around. It was it was after Poison the Hood. You know, I'm going into Friday. You know what I mean? Like he was already like, doing what, that shit. Shit Knight was already a fucking huge mogul. Right. He didn't need nobody. He was getting Snoop money. Pac money, Dre money still. So who had who had anything? To, Jerry Heller. Everybody knows he already fucked them over and took all their money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so who had to uh, gain from it? Well, to I make it right. True. Now this is all speculation. Yeah, all, yeah, yeah, This yeah, is yeah, a no bunch doubt. of a bunch of conspiracy I videos. I'm like, oh, no, I can understand that. Yeah, that's nah, what it's called a conspiracy. Fuck you. <laughs> you. <laughs> and, I mean, I watched a bunch of conspiracy videos and it kind of made you know that that didn't make sense. But if it was to be a setup and someone had something to do with it shout out brooks who just joined our Yo. periscope uh yeah definitely that shit's crazy as fuck though um on that note uh now cat sits up on that note shit. i know he's like hey, hey, hey. <laughs> on that note um, <laughs> let's discuss let's discuss some deep web for this week man we this is a new segment we wanted to talk about because me and jay harmony are fucking like big deep web Investigators, <laughs> investigators. Man, that shit is real interesting. Um, the shit you find on there, yeah. So the deep web is basically like you look at the internet, and the internet is like a huge iceberg in the water. You only see the top part of it, and that's yeah. called the um, what is it called? The, the surface web. Surface web. The surface web. So like basically like Google and Yahoo and all that. And that's like the surface web. You know what I'm saying? So I think they said like from like? the deep web and the surface web. The surface web is like what? Six percent of the actual internet. Right. It's like something like six percent of it. So the deep web and the shadow web and all the other shit is like the really big fucking internet. That's the real. Internet. Right. And the deep web is used a lot for <laughs> child pornography. Of course, they got like fucking pedophiles and shit. But um. And and you can buy fucking drugs. You can buy guns drugs. On there. Guns. You can buy hitmen. Hell of shit on there. Right. Bro. Right. Shit on there. And then also, you know, they a lot of countries like North Korea and and China that can't use Google because they're fucking censored. They go on there to, you know, try to do it and they use it a thing called a Tor search yeah. engine or a fucking onion or whatever the fuck. It's called yeah Tor. It's called um Tor. let's see. Top search, three man. top three craziest fucking things you've seen on some deep web shit. Well I haven't actually I'll just say this I haven't actually been on there myself. Doing research though. But like I've heard a lot of like I guess you could say creepy pastas or like kinda like Reddit post about it <coughs> one i heard it was about a dude that like turns like little kids into like dogs but not like dog dogs like he's it's crazy bro he says he chops their fucking legs off like right above their knees it's supposed chops, to be real yeah damn and you see he chops like the arms like right above their elbow and like like places it with like a rod like a, so like you can like put a chain through it or whatever you want and like 
He like cuts out their tongue. He like destroys their hearing. Like gets rid of like every basic all their senses except their sight. Jesus. Basically, and like basically their sight is almost gone too. It's fucked you know what I'm saying? So like basically like it's like basically like a sex toy. And like you have to feed and like you have to feed it though. Wait, they turn kids into sex toys? Like twelve. Welcome 12, to the fucking 12, deep 12, web, yes. man. Yeah, bro. He said, and that shit, he said, them shit's cost like 50, 50 grand a pop. Damn. Them shit's like 50,000 yeah. a pop, bro. All I, know is that I don't know if it's real we or not, though. How, um, we, they bet on, yeah. bet on torture movies. And yeah, stuff. yeah. Yo, that's another that's another part of the deep web. Like, I'll let, fucking... I know we talk about that, <coughs> you know what I'm saying, since I told you about give him two right? other, Give them two other things that you, that you found, well, though. That's crazy. One thing he said, one thing he's talking about, like, uh, torture videos. You know how, like, sometimes, like, uh, let me see what I can, uh, compare that to. Uh, ringing phone. My bad, my mom <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, I guess you can say, I guess they're called red rooms. Mm-hmm. And, like, you can, uh, basically, because on, on the internet, or not on the internet, on tour, you can't pay with actual money. So, like, your credit card or, like, cash money, you can't pay for shit with your actual money. You have to pay for it. It's what it's called, bitcoins. So, I guess, I don't know the actual units or how they measure the bitcoins, but I guess, like, you pay a certain amount. And you get to watch somebody get either tortured or killed. You know what I'm saying? And you get to, for a certain amount of money, you can participate. You can tell them exactly what you want them to do. Like you can say, cut the finger off, Damn. cut the wrist off, cut the ear off, uh, shove the knife in their mouth. Whatever you want to do for a certain amount of money, you can <coughs> them to do whatever you want them to do to the person. 20 buckaroos, get yeah. a toe cut off. And it's weird, cuz. Like, and one last one, hit them with one more. Um, what's, a, what's a juicy one that I found? Juicy. Oh, are you sure you want to go juicy? <laughs> Well, let's talk about the one that we were talking about yesterday. The dude where uh, it was a weird ass video on the internet where a dude was like fucking eating. You said he was eating noodles. Oh, oh yeah. Oh dude, you showed me that. Yeah. He was eating noodles. See, I still don't. Think Food he, torture. I don't think he was eating noodles because because when, when the video first starts, he's eating it kind of normally. Like, he's crying. Yeah, yeah. Then he starts crying and then like some weird ass mascots come out of nowhere. And, like, <laughs> Big ass heads. But then like then he starts eating it like reluctantly, like crying in between. Like yeah, I'm like bro. Are you sure he's eating noodles, man? Are you sure that's what he's eating? Because he's not really eating it like this. If it's just noodles in that in that bowl, then you should be like, man, whatever. They shouldn't have blurted out. Nah, there's yeah. the actual YouTube video no, you can no. see. I'll show it. I'll show it to you guys later when blurted, I blurted, yeah, not blurted out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's noodles. Yeah, it's I don't noodles. know. That's but that's what he said. Like I said, I'm not. They have sure. a description of it but too. But see, the thing was is when he backed out, the dude was talking about that when he backed out of that, and that uh, it was remember it was talking about how they were gonna torture him. It yeah, well, no, it's called food. No, it's called food torture. He was like Asian, anyway, so I know. Oh, he was they actually, they oh I thought it said it was an ISIS. Shit. Nah. Speaking of ISIS, like, shout out to our other viewer. Oh, my bad. I mean, no, you're that. good. I was about to say, speaking of ISIS, there's a fucking, there's also a deep web video about ISIS where they supposedly had caught four different ISIS members, and they were gonna torture them in a rare room, and you could pay to see them torture and like get them killed or whatever, however you want it. And I was like, bro, they caught ISIS members. They said they were. Completely Firm ISIS members. Yeah, well, that turned out to be fake, though. Yeah, that's they what made, I was asking. They, made, they, made, they had them eating bacon and shit. Like, it wasn't... Yeah, I thought it was going to be crazy. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't know. Yeah, don't let, know. Me, let me see what my top... So, my top three, there's uh, there's one where I seen there was an art... Like, a dude wrote a book about getting away with murder. And it's by this dude named Jack the Ripper. Uh, it's called Murder, murder Inc. And it's fucking... It's, like, oh. basically talking about, like, how to set up... Your murder and get away with the perfect homicide. Basically, yeah, that sounds like the OJ book. If I was in your just how I would do it. <laughs> yeah, but he <laughs> no, gives right. like distinct no, this instructions. Dude probably though. like gave you like this do this do this. Yeah. Don't wear wear this. Don't right. Wear that. Like, yep. Exactly. <clears throat> how did this exactly. dude not go to jail? Because it's probably all it's all in the deep web. It's He's all. Not in but jail. I mean, if you got a book published. No, it's published on the deep web. Oh, it's you can't a, go. It's anywhere. a PDF file. You can only yeah. find it there. Yeah. And then my next thing, my next thing, which actually is another book thing. Is there's this dude named I think it's like Uncle Ralph or something like that, and you can actually buy his books on Amazon. But he give he puts out books about <coughs> cooking. Uh, Human mess. flesh? No, 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 no. I was saying, not I was that saying, fucked I think up. I know that, but I heard it, it was another book that I heard. He is a dude named Uncle Some with a R, bro. Yeah. It's Uncle Remus, I think. Some some bullshit. You're talking like about that. cooking. How to make, how to eat humans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen that. That's I seen that one. Yeah, that's fucking some, crazy. Some yeah, that one's Wait, crazy too. But yeah, he's uh, he basically he has like 16, 18 books about just cooking drugs and like 
teach you oh, how to make dude, grow mushrooms dude. and like all this yeah. shit. It's fucking crazy. I remember that. And then the last crazy shit that I seen from the deep web was this. I guess there's this, uh, or there was a company called like. Uh, I don't know. It, I can't remember even the name. I probably shouldn't even say the name of it. But it was basically Whatever. this dude from Australia who moved to the Philippines and started filming like torture videos of like kids, little young ass kids. <laughs> and they actually caught the dude. They caught him in the Philippines. But I saw that. He I put out that. like some video called Daisy's Destruction where he like cool. killed like some little that's baby like one, or something. That's like on one of the most famous videos on the D Web, bro. It's called Daisy's Destruction. Bro. Yeah. I heard about that shit. I heard that shit is gruesome, bro. Yeah. That shit is I would bad. never, I would never tell anybody to ever no, go see that, and I would never watch up. it. Yeah, and that's another thing. If you're gonna go snooping around the deep web, make sure that you know where the fuck you're going. You can and for sure hide have your IP address. Yeah, hide your IP address. How you get murdered, bro? Is by, is by going on there with your IP address. Bro. And yeah, and you could for sure end up with the feds at your door too, doing yeah, 25 to life for mm-hmm. fucking looking at the wrong shit. But um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. There's a lot of uh, website or a lot of like YouTube channels where they go through it, so you can check them out. Can I can I say this since we're gonna post this on Facebook? Yeah. There's a there, there was a website on the deep web that like took bitches from Facebook and put them on another website on the deep web where the, all their pictures, their address, their family members, their boyfriends, they had all that shit listed. Hey, Brooks is back. There. That shit was weird, bro. I was like, bro, so all these so you bitches on there, be careful what y'all post. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah you bitches. Y'all addresses and y'all numbers and y'all boyfriends and all that. Be careful with that shit, bro. Right. Y'all think about the deep web. Remember all them. Uh, them kids that got, came up missing out of nowhere? Where? I think it was like Africa or... or uh, Syria. Syria? No, it's not know. Syria. <clears throat> Fuck, where was that shit at? Are you talking about those little school girls? The school girls. So Africa. Africa. Yeah, what happened? What if that happened to be the <coughs> It could oh, be. shit, you never know. It could I be. I mean, there's definitely criminals on that motherfucker. There's a so. number of things that could be. So I'm saying, up. what if they were some of the torch things? Could be. Whatever you know. It could be, bro. But I, like I said, I've never actually been on the deep web myself, so I can't. You know, for real, for real. Right. I'm kind of scared, bro. I don't want to get hacked. That's right. My That's my fear. thing too. That's I don't want to get fucking hacked. hacked. Well, because I was reading, they said that you have to have some extra untraceable modem or. No, it's yeah. the onion. It's called the onion hidden or core network. No, it's yeah. called the hidden wiki. That's how you're supposed. To but he's talking about the actual program oh, to the, run oh, it. Oh, the, oh, so yeah. it's oh, Tor. Yeah. It's called Tor browser. Yeah. Yeah. I actually yeah. heard there's another browser out there that actually lets you access the. Other little twelve P two P, which was called something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, I was like, bro, so I it's it's, it's or something like that. S I K or something. It's like easy that. to say that there's a bunch of like mentally sick slash genius type motherfuckers going on the deep web. Well, that and the real internet too. It's just the motherfuckers on the deep web aren't scared to show as much. Like they're fucking. They post up They're whatever, it, but it's bro. also really there's some good like informational shit too, like yeah. how to fucking make a McDonald's close down for a day. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that shit that was hella funny. funny. Mm-hmm. Like you fucking uh, take a boiling hot like tub of water and dump the shit in the trash can, so when they come out, they try to clean the trash can. Yep. There's a big ass hole. There's a big ass hole in it, and like all the garbage is always hot and nasty and shit. So now and they still gotta clean it up. Mm-hmm. They have to. That shit is fucked up. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy shit, but definitely a lot of informational. Oh, and all you conspiracy theorists out there, they have a lot of fucking government documents on there, supposed to. Yeah. Be, you know what I'm saying? A lot of deep, deep shit, you know what I'm saying, in the government that's not supposed to be leaked, so. Right. They got leak, webs- leak websites, too, where they, like, if they're called information sharing websites, where you can go on there and get, like, get, like, a fucking 50 cents social security number and, like, his address and his... It's fucking nuts, dude. Uh, it gets also, yeah. any, anything you want, they got it on the deep web. Anything. When I say that, abbreviate that. Anything you want, they got it on the deep yeah. web. You want some weed? Deep web. You want some yep. crack? Nigga, deep web. <laughs> yep, and they use <laughs> shit called bitcoins, too, to fucking... Yeah, bitcoins. To, uh... To, uh... Digital currency. For money, basically. So, And bitcoins are now worth a lot of money. I think they're, like, for, like... Like a point five Bitcoin is worth like a couple thousand, yeah, or a couple fucking, hundred, maybe a couple hundred. Something like fucking that. crazy. Now, but I, you can buy those Bitcoin cards like you buy like fucking uh, calling cards, like how you go to the corner store and stuff and buy the little tabs they be having on the back for like calling, like out of state. Oh, I didn't that. know that. You can buy them like that. That's fucking. That's dope. how people. Use them. That's crazy. We shouldn't be telling you all this so you motherfuckers go out there and start buying torture videos and shit. We don't want y'all to do that. <laughs> hey, man, you guys do whatever the fuck you want, but it ain't our fault. So exactly. Don't blame us. But yeah, I mean, if you definitely if you definitely have 
the right precautions and you want to go check out some crazy shit, get a get a tour search engine and all that. And yeah, yeah, check yeah. It out. Make sure, like he said, take all the precautions so you don't get hacked, so people don't take your money and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you take all the precautions. Don't yep. Just, don't just dive into it. Yep. So uh, the next topic we're gonna talk about today is, um, I guess, <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> I guess it's just NASA, right? They found water on Mars. Water from Mars. So I guess uh, they what? there has been a long fucking like trip that they had to take to get over there, right? Wasn't that what it was? It's been like five year they, thing they that they've been. Found bacteria on Mars. I don't know about that, but I heard they found water out there, and and so that basically means that this this Mars shit can really go down. Like you can really go out there and and start a civilization. So think people were talking this. about hipsters moving to Mars. Now, think about this now, now. Now you know how much it costs for you to fly from into the inner world to the other end. Imagine how much it's gonna cost for you to fly from Earth to Mars, nigga. We not gonna be able to go. We like ain't that. gonna be able to go. But they gotta train you to go. No, we can actually go, but it takes. I think it take. They said it takes hell of years to get out there. Yeah, you gotta get trained, and you can get denied. The, one of the Backstreet Boy motherfuckers tried to get out there in sync or something. Yeah, they trying to. Yeah, and they got denied. Shit, they've done great things for the world, man. I, like I said, I feel like when that shit really start popping, and you start actually can go to Mars, like visit, be there, actually like own property out there. Portals. That, sh- that shit's gonna start closing in, bro. They're not. They're gonna start laying less. Like, that shit reminds me of that old school Disney Channel movie. Like some hip hop shit? <laughs> nah, hell nah. Nah, some poppy shit. Zoom, but check zoom, this out. Zoom, make my heart go boom, boom, my supernova girl. You know what's the I trick? I remember the song. Bro. That I movie predicted so shit. much shit. <laughs> yeah. That movie predicted so much shit. And in, in, in those movies, they had <clears throat> they had tablets and cell phones that you could talk to. You could talk to the next person looking at it. <coughs> so like iPad. Yeah, back then they didn't have that. That's when they had like your average brick Nokia. It's kind of like Periscope. Add us. N- and no had, uh, game. <laughs> then they had, what's it called? Um, cars that drove their sales. Mm. Yeah. Um, there was this hellish shit that that movie predicted, dude. And it was so, it's a cool Did they yeah. predict water on Mars? <laughs> no, but they predicted, they predicted that there would be a whole nother, uh, like, um, uh, the chick, she, she had family that lived in space and family that lived on, on Earth. Mm. And there were some people that had never been back from space or never, they were born in there. Or they never been to Earth and a whole bunch of other shit. Yeah. Shoulders. Who would have thought we'd be having a long ass conversation about Xenon? <laughs> the hey, space bro. show. Like, hey, you know what though? Hey. Was that on Disney yeah, Channel? Yeah, yeah. Childhood, hey. bro. Check out and that bitch that was playing that her. Bitch. That bitch. That, that bitch. bitch. She played Raven some like, was uh, in there. She oh, is she? This, yeah. But now the main character that bitch plays for now some like fucking uh, soap opera and that bitch is bad now. Damn. Aw, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to check Xenon out after this. I'm gonna have to, this. to, I'm gonna have to tell her bad. The bitch who used to play Katie from All I Kids. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to tweet her. Tweet her. You do that, Grandpa. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> God damn. Let her know I just recently got water. Uh-huh. Yeah, so any uh, remarks on water on Mars, though? Anybody uh, got any think, thoughts on this shit? Is it drinkable? It's the future. I think it'll kill you if you drink it, but... Yeah, yeah it's saying, drinkable. I, I just mean. hope... Now, what I hope is that there's some fucking uh, life form already living there and it's gonna say, fuck humans, don't even try to come here, bro. Get the fuck up out of our <laughs> That's what I hope. <laughs> America's bro. gonna decide that they that's, need some democracy, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I hope. I hope it's already some, some life forms <laughs> living there and they run up on them and then the motherfuckers be like, fuck you, don't even try to colonize here. Fuck out of here. Right. That's what I hope. I mean, it's definitely possible. I mean, we'd do that to anybody else who came out here. So. That's what I'm saying. If somebody come to Earth, we're going to be fucking we weird looking it. motherfuckers. We we'd we'd enslave the fuck out of them. Yeah. Right. We'd shoot folks. them shits and study them and we'd be fucked up. Fuck, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, that shit would be nuts. Fuck you me. Fucking Fuck crazy. Uh, so, yeah, next topic, since uh, we don't have much to say about that. Um, new movies coming out this week. Black uh, Mass. Black Mass. It anything else? Out, anything else coming out? Uh, Hotel Transylvania. Out. What? <laughs> oh, The Martian that has uh, what's the name? Brad Pitt or uh, who's in that? Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. The only movies Matt I really Damon. care about Matt seeing Bruce? is Black Mass and Matt Matt Bruce. Yeah, I heard Black Mass was like, like, like the, all the mobsters Amazing. from the movie don't like it, and like but I heard it was hella good. They said the one of the one of the mobster dudes from it said. Why do they choose that character as me? He looks like he has Down syndrome. Oh, oh my God! Bro, what 
What about the visit? Though? That's a real game story. Right I haven't seen that. I'm supposed you to see heard that about that? Weekend. Yeah, well, it's a ghost movie, right? Well, no, nah, it's about these. Uh, this mom. First off, M. oh, M. mom movie. M. Yeah. Night Shyamalan made it, and it's supposed to be like his best movie since Six Sense. And, oh, damn! I know, definitely gotta go see it. Because you know he's had some horrible movies in there. He's had good <laughs> movies though too. He's had some good ones, but then he also did The Village. I like that movie though. Oh, you're one of the few. I liked um, it because there was such a plot twist. But um, it was a, to me it was a, anyway. It was a stupid <laughs> plot twist because it was weird. It was like you're, you're off in your own, you know, combine and, and don't come over here because we're actually in the uh, 20th century. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you guys are living well, in the 15th. We are, we're in the future. No, yeah, this was the uh, this is the old one. The uh, the village. I know. Uh, anyway, the. It's a good movie. Though. I know he. Damn! Ooh. Spoiler alert! Damn. Okay, Grandpa, like, you can't spoil, Thanks, you you can't can't spoil, spoil a movie, movie that's, that's ten years old. Right Sorry, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. bro. What if I gave up the yeah, ending to yeah, fucking Schindler's yeah. List or like? I still haven't then seen that's that the person White man can't jump. And who didn't watch Schindler's List? Wait, so no more so. How would you feel if I told you that in the Titanic, bro? I know, right? Right. Don't do that. Everybody knows the ending of Titanic. It was real life. The fucking shit went down. Hey, but, but anyway, the visit. There nah. could be some easy e ass motherfuckers that didn't know easy e guys. Yeah, age, true. You know what I'm saying that might not. You're be old people. Like, oh, you just told them. I'm just saying. All these spoilers. You are ruining a new movie. Anyway, damn, the visit. Damn. The visit. So, it's, it, it, the way it looks, it, uh, it looks like it's dope. He made it to where it was like this little girl who's trying to be a film. You know, like what you guys do, make movies and videos and shit. And um, she actually documents the whole movie as if. She's the one making the movie, and wait. So it's first person? No, it's not first person. It's because she films herself too. Like her, you know, what I'm like saying paranormal? it's a trip. No, it's not like paranormal. Nah, it's like she's actually making the movie her own self. Part of it's first person. Part of it's not. Uh, you okay. know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Turn this off now if you don't want to hear the ending of this movie. No, I, I haven't seen it. <laughs> but basically, what it is is someone the, dies. The grand, I guess. The, I guess the kids never Everyone met the grandparents. Dies. Grandparents contact the mom. They go to, you know, one, 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 one the kids come see him. Kids come see him, and they grandparents start doing some fucking crazy ass weirdo shit. I heard that they got <laughs> like some crazy ass date, like they get in, like that's not exactly sleeping, but it's like yeah, it's almost like uh, like like in limbo sleep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ah uh, shit. Like if, if you if anybody seen the commercials, like it's like the the, the grandma looked at one of the kids, is like, honey, would you mind getting into the oven for me? Wow. You know what I mean? And it's just like. Durr. But I've heard it was like, <laughs> I heard it was like a good <laughs> ass fucking movie. Like people are saying it's like M Night Shyamalan's best movie nice. since Six Sense. M Night Shyamalan. M Night Shyamalan. M Night Shyamalan. Because he also did Signs, remember? Yeah, yeah. Signs was tight. Signs was a good one. Uh, Six Sense. Six Sense is a classic. Yeah, crazy. Um, yeah. So, any other good movies coming out? Any bootleg movies? What's up with a, a Roman's Netflix movie of, yeah, the, of yeah. the week? We What's that? We What's dope on there right now? Bro, right now, you gotta check out that Tom Papa stand up, bro. This dude is like <laughs> some middle aged old white dude. He tells a story about his life, just living, being a family man, and working, and just the hustle of everyday life, man. But that shit is hilarious, bro. And, he, and he's just, a clean comic too, so yeah, he doesn't man, really so, cuss too much. So you yeah, can actually watch it with your folks, with your family. Let me yeah. plug him on this one. I keep trying to tell you. Everybody's told to watch this movie that liked it. It's Kid Cannabis. I still haven't it's seen a it. true story about a youngster who lives in Funky and he's trying to fucking get big in the weed game. But it's a true story. You can actually Google it and figure out the whole truth, you know. Everything. Nice. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's a good ass movie. It's a, nice. it's a really good ass movie. What about uh? What about any series that's popping right now, Roman? N- not so Narcos coming back. Man, Fear the Walking Dead right now is just some shit that I'm watching. Is it on Netflix? Uh, no, not now. Okay. But Netflix did just release season five of The Walking Dead, so if you're trying to catch up, bro, you know what I started watching? Netflix for yeah, taking yeah, South Park yeah. off. You know what I started watching was Orange Is the New Black. You gotta get Hulu. Yeah. Orange Is the New Black is is pretty dope. That shit's dope, bro. Yeah. That shit's a little loud. I think the first season is probably the best, though. I think it gets a little bit Well, I just boring. finished the third season, and it was, it was, it was, it was, it was it's, it's, it's funny, though. Yeah, it definitely is funny. What about you, Cats? You got any cool movies that you've seen lately? Um, well, I just watched Pixels. Pixels and- was... Well, is that the movie that it came was. out with? Uh, it came out a few months ago. It was so yeah. fucking yeah. corny. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was look see, I went into it expecting it to be pretty terrible, and 
I wanted it to be. So, you, so you, I you, pretty much just. I wanted to low standards. I, well, I really low standards. So any of the like kind of funny moments were like funny. I was like, all right, cool. I got something out of this, and it's fun to watch just because. I think CGI is like hella good now. Hell yeah. It, it was, was dope. So, like, it still looks dope. Yeah. It may be hella stupid. Like the story's hella dumb. And I, you know what I hella didn't like was on the Pac-Man part, they weren't Pac-Man. Because, yeah, I think I missed that because part. Because otherwise they were like, you know, they were playing as the player. Yeah. But if you play Pac-Man, you play as Pac-Man. As Pac-Man. Oh, but so they played they were the ghosts. ghosts. Oh, wow. Which was like hell. But they didn't explain that at all for any reason. That's just the only way they could figure Wait, so- out. How to use for so their character. in a video game or something? No. No, aliens are invading because back in the 80s, they sent out, they sent out this, uh, this a tape signal, of yeah. Alert. Yeah, it's a... It's well, this just, is a true story, though. It was just that a they recording. Actually did they sent out, out a yeah, tape of the recording, recording yeah. of, like, the championship of, like, a bunch <laughs> of different arcade games. What is it? Aliens send it out into the tree No, no. No, we, we sent, sent it, it out, out into space. Oh, okay. So now 25 okay. This is your time frame, Bank. So now it's like oh, the 80s. 25, 30 about this. years later, whatever. They, um, the, the aliens come here and because they took it as the sign of war. Because right. all the games are like fighting and shit. So yeah, they took yeah, it yeah. as like a challenge. Good thing like, they Grand Theft Auto. Games. So now they're invading. So, they're, so like the story's kind of interesting. It's just like they didn't. Go, they should have went. I don't know. You know I what, what I really hated? It, you know what I really hated just, about uh, it is the fact that they that uh, they went and trained the fucking army people to play video games. I was like, what? wait, yeah. so wait, the I fucking was, army uh, never played anybody in the army. No, in the army right? never played right? video so, games. So the, the yeah. movies kind of like pulled off of something that actually really happened. It's well, just not this training shit. Idea no, I'm, I'm talking about like my bad. We're saying if it would have happened. No, when you guys said something that like the video game, they they actually sent they sent out a mess. They sent out like a recording. But that actually like, really happened yeah. in my life. Yeah. So it's played oh, off okay. of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which they've done movies like that before. Right? I remember seeing the, the commercials for it when I went to see some movie, and I was like, No, Adam Sandler, bro. All his movies are fucking wild. Dude. It's not that bad. I don't think it's that bad. It's like compared to if you're high as fuck, that movie is dope as shit. Though. Dude, because they I fuck with brothers. Have you watched this? Have you watched this movie, The Cobbler? I did. That wow. movie is fucking terrible. It's so boring. Is it an Adam Sandler movie? Uh, yes, yes and bro. Fucking He's a cobbler. He's what a, the fuck? You know yeah. what a cobbler is, right? He's a shoe cobbler. He's a shoe cobbler. Make shoes. Yeah. 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 And, <laughs> and his um. Not his, a peach cobbler. are running out of ideas these days, bro. Is, bro, he ah, finds his dad. His dad like, was a cobbler, right? And he finds his dad's old machine downstairs. And when he starts using his old, his one, his new one, and when he starts using his dad's old machine, he starts making a cobbler machine. Bro, no, it turns into the shoes who he makes, who he fixes. He's able to turn into them. Wow. It's just, it's so fucking boring, bro. <laughs> bro, so, so Adam Sandler, at one point, Adam Sandler turns into Method Man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I want to know how, how they were sitting in, on the table in like a meeting with these huge execs, like, we're going to make a movie about a cobbler. I'm about a shoe cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> like, peach cobbler? No, 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 shoe cobbler. I think I'd rather make a movie. Bro, the movie's so corny. Oh and, you know what? It's, it's so corny and corny. And it, 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 even more. Hey, look at here's the cold part. When you Dude, didn't think that the movie, could, movie. I mean, why not? <laughs> when you didn't think, <laughs> hey, when you don't think the movie could get any worse, all of a sudden the ending comes and it gets even more worse. Oh like, god, it's pretty bad. What made y'all even want to watch a movie? It's, it's a fucking Adam Sandler movie. It's an Adam Sandler movie. I don't give a fuck if it's a goddamn M Night Shyamalan movie. I'm not watching that shit. I seen Adam Sandler on there. I was like, yo, I gotta watch it. It has its okay moments. Bro, I seen Adam Sandler on there. I was like, yo, I gotta watch it. Bro, I seen Adam Sandler on there. I was like, yo, I gotta watch it. Bro, it has its okay moments. Bro, I see Adam Sandler made the movie. I'm like, nope, not watching this bullshit today. Grown Ups was the funny though. Grown Ups was fucking funny to me. We're talking about an old. No, those movies suck dick too. I fucked with those. Movies, this man. uh, that's my boy was actually pretty funny. What? Which one? Man, no. Uh, Andy. Uh, oh, Sam that's my boy. Oh my god. That's, that's my boy. Funny. Funny. Not, where he made, he made him great. get a, uh, he got a tattoo <laughs> of new kids on a block on his son's and then back. And he had it all stressed out because he grew up. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, but I don't know. I just feel like you don't see that's my boy, dude. It's about Adam Sandler. That, that, was, that uh, movie just funny. Talking, he was no, uh, next thing having sex with his teacher when he was a kid and had a baby by her. Yeah, so he was a wow. star because of that. But he yeah, was stupid. Um, so I guess Jim Carrey's girlfriend committed or his ex girlfriend committed suicide. Why? Uh, probably from all them terrible movies. Probably her. Her, her name's probably Ben Carrey. Get it? Uh, ben Carrey. Ben now she's Carey. not anymore. I'm still carrying. Epic. Yeah. Boom, boom. Yeah. 
too soon? All right, my bad. All right. All right. Yeah, but that's uh, pretty crazy, though, I what guess. Was, what was Jim Carrey's latest movie? He doesn't do movies. Huh? Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey? Yeah. Yes. I don't think Jim Drew Carrey. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Drew Carrey? Why the Drew fuck would we bring Drew Carrey up in podcast? I don't know what the fuck he did with me. When's the last time, last time I seen I him? Hey, Carrey. you're tripping. Ben got a fucking Drew Carrey movie collection in his house, bro. You're tripping. No, <laughs> Do you really? I think the last time. I stopped that movie. Do you really? He could. Dude, Drew Carrey don't make movies. Why would you do that? I would believe that. In the 90s or something before he got famous, he could have Hey, you watched The Cobbler. Bro, what was his first name? Drew Carey? Who so. wouldn't watch The Cobbler? Adam Sandler's in it. Oh, my God. I'm trying to hey, fucking... Well, I watched it for hella long. Wait, wait. Did I was you hoping there would be a good part. Did you watch Jack and Jill or whatever the fuck it's called? Oh, no. <laughs> did you watch that? Nobody no. watched that shit. Yeah, no, we did. Nobody. Oh, my what? God. Yeah. You watched Hey, I'm, I'm never allowing y'all to review any movies. I'm never watching that. I'm gonna say, <laughs> hey, what's the best movie this week, cats? He's gonna give the worst movie of the week. I'm wow. accident. Brad, Jack and Jill was terrible. Oh, I'm sure it was. I, I rewatched uh, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, there you go. I showed Brooks it because she had never seen it. Oh my gosh, so, so she's she never seen that. It. Yeah. So, What's wrong with right. you, Brooks? Yeah. Like, what right, is we gotta watch this. So. Yeah. <coughs> Brooker, the Brooker. I never Still seen good. it either. Man, that movie's good. You gotta see it. You're tripping. But it's a good yeah, Halloween you Christmas never seen movie, it, man. Bro? The best Halloween Christmas Duh. movie. Wes Craven? Um, my movie game is absolutely Tim terrible. Burton. Tim You're Burton, like my sorry. girl. My movie game is absolutely Same terrible. thing. Mine is <laughs> in the middle, bro. It it will I've seen shit. Same thing. I've seen, it will I've seen the classics that I needed to see. It will look fake. Yeah, you're right. How bad. Tim never, okay, we got changed. Boys in the Hood. You Tim got Burton fucking White Man Can't Jump. The Abyss. Y'all ever seen The Abyss? You ever seen The Abyss? How about, um, what's that movie with Samuel L. Jackson with the sharks and this guy LL Cool J in it? Oh, Deep, uh, Deep no. Blue. Never Deep Blue, yeah, i seen that. You've never seen Deep Blue? No, where Samuel gets eaten by a shark? I saw that when they had Bro, you ever seen Indiana Bro. Jones? No. Oh, no. my, what? Brooks has been telling me I gotta watch this. So Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Parents didn't buy me shit like that, Bruh. Bruh. All right, I, I know y'all seen at least Jurassic Park. I've never watched an Indiana Jones Y'all at least seen Jurassic Park. Yeah, I've seen all the Jurassic Parks multiple times. That's the, I was at, uh... That was that shit my wife partner used to watch back in the day. What? Indiana Jones. I just couldn't watch it. My parents didn't watch it. Shit, but bro. then, in all honesty, I finally. I only. I, I watched but you watched the Cobbler, though. <laughs> I just. I don't understand it. Netflix. I don't understand it's it. It's on Netflix. You never seen it before. I'm gonna watch did, it. Sandler's in. I did try to watch <laughs> Indiana Jones. Like, <laughs> then it I just fucking right. Cobbler had the upper hand there. Yeah, the Cobbler, the the yeah, the cobbler <laughs> sucks. Don't watch it. So, yeah, <laughs> it was the worst hour and forty five minutes of my life. You know, there's some oh, shit in life you just ain't gotta explain. Like, hey, you know that movie. The cobbler Wait, sucks. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You gotta justify why you saw it. Like, oh, shit. The there's no I was justifying. On the, I was on the plane. Hey, there's no coming was back. Was that was the only oh, thing they were showing. Oh, Adam oh, Sandler was, was in it. After Earth, because I was on a plane. Nah, bro. Hey, sucks. go back to the deep web. They made me eat noodles and watch the cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's something that would happen. They sat me in the room. <laughs> I was crying while I was eating noodles. Right, I, was I, was I was sitting there like, I was like, cool, another Adam Sandler movie. And I'm just like watching, I'm like 20 minutes in, 30 Isn't minutes Isn't the basis in, of that hour, shit? And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, and, then, and then you get so far into it, you're like, the well, fuck, I might as well fucking finish it now. I know, right? Well, then you finish it Like I said The ending is just As worse now, as actually, the whole movie It's kind of like Fucking a fat bitch Like you might as well Bust a nut And finish Yo, it out I'm a nigga on Netflix <laughs> man. I will go through the movie And then you're on a podcast One day just uh, explain That you, you watched it dog, You would have been oh, out Like alright <laughs> <laughs> How do you put it that way Motherfucker <laughs> Oh shit Alright man an Adam Sandler movie Alright man So yeah it's been, a, it's been a great podcast Man we're gonna wrap This bitch up Uh Shout out to oh, well, I mean yeah, we could talk about the Pope for like a minute. But all right, well, you got oh, something Pope. to say about the Pope? Yo, Tell, the give Pope us some facts. I know Cat's got some Pope facts. I got some facts. <laughs> I got some facts. <laughs> the, the Pope was crip walking when he got out of his car. Hey. Bro. Hey. Yo, man, I'm about to come out to come down, bro. I need you to give me that white linen, white tee for me when I come through, bro. I need, you, I need you to hook me up in that bulletproof yeah. Mercedes, bro. I'm trying to ride on the top of the glass. I don't even gotta be inside. Yeah. Didn't he top. like eat with the homeless instead of like Congress yeah. or some shit? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, right. he did. Good. Yeah, he yeah. got invited to do some big dinner, and he said no. I'm gonna eat with the homies. Good. Good, which is either a publicity stunt or a really uh, yeah, kind of like, thing. He seems pretty about that life. He like, might just be trying day. to be like, yo, I'm just trying to seem regular. That's why I said it's I'll either one. I'll do whatever I can. He's just be someone of our time, like. 
You're a nigga about God, bro. You're a nigga about God. You be all white, everything, every day, nigga. You right. be the freshest nigga on earth. I salute you. Right. Man, what nah, he's definitely, uh, he's definitely, he seems like a. To the vet, to the vet Benz game, ma- he wasn't there. Mercedes Benz so, made a Benz just for you, bro. You are. I heard he wrote to, I heard he wrote through New York listening to Walker Flocker. Damn near not. Oh, hey. 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 Uh, hey, tight, be some Catholics that are pissed off about. <laughs> yeah, we're already being held blasphemous already, so we're all right. We're blasphemous. Uh, when is any religion not blasphemous? They're all everybody's a hypocrite. They're all right, bro. That's wait, what? Here. Really? Yeah, what? Like, what? Yeah, everybody has hypocritical like, ways, bro. Wait, no. Flat. Wait, you That's know what blasphemous shit. means, right? Yeah. What does it all mean? I said, all I said was pull the pope was flat. Wait, 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 wait. What was? What does blasphemous mean? It's like, I is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it like fucking like, like I'm going against the word of God or like, no. being like demeaning or some shit? No, it's when you're, it's it's like when you're saying, demeaning the God. Yeah, but I said, it's like God said. No, it's not when you're not, you that's said like, a hypocrite. That's like saying God no, damn. I'm saying we're all hypocritical right? in a way. So if, if, if God here's what I'm saying, if a Catholic right? is a hypocrite, then that means they could be blasphemous. They could be fucking disrespectful to God and, and it'd be a No, joke. but it's blasphemy is liter is literally being just like that's, fuck God. That's, that's blasphemous. Like, but Holy that's not no one has said that you. except for you. No, you know? I'm trying I'm saying you don't know the definition of a blasphemy. You said blasphemy is being a hypocrite. I'm saying it's Holy not. I didn't say that. I Holy said shit it is blasphemy being disrespectful basically, when God turns. That's like I said blasphemy. we're all hypocrites in our own way. Not some me. people some people say nothing. I ain't a blood. hypocrite. Some people yeah, say I'm everybody a hypo blood. Everybody got hypocritical in some way. Don't matter. In there. Shoot, whoop. All, Let's be honest here. And all I said was the pole was flat. That's all I said. I just said you Wait, you said he was flat? Shit. I said he was, he was fly because you all white, laden, airy. Oh, day. fly, With fly. With your gold cross on and your bulletproof bins, you were, you were fly, my friend. Yeah, like, Jesus, like, Jesus. Didn't hella people have a problem because he was like posing with Obama or something like that? Damn. He met with Obama. He, he met with Obama. Oh, yeah, and they, did, <clears throat> they did their album cover. Oh, they did their album cover. Yeah, well, people got a problem with everything. The thing is because <laughs> of the Catholic and the Muslim thing. And they try, people trying to make a big deal. I was oh, reading about yeah. something oh, on the internet. Oh, oh, I was reading about yeah. something. I didn't get too in depth. Obama's in a Muslim? Shit. Yo, uh, they said that Obama's a Muslim. Oh. They say. They say. They Damn. Say. And according to Middle America. And, that's blasphemy. And, and deep, uh, deep <laughs> South. He is. Uh, yeah, that's blasphemy. He is Muslim and he doesn't belong in this country. And, you know. So that's so wide. You know, yeah, you know, well, what'd you say that, what'd you say that Philly made during that week? Oh, uh, it said just. Uh, the week of the Pope being in Philly, <clears throat> going to Philly, whatever, they made like half a billion dollars. Damn. So, I mean, America as a whole had to made over a billion. <coughs> he went to New York and a couple other And places. they said they shut down like Harlem and shit like that. Like, they but, did hella shit. They were reporting that McDonald's that were like near where the Pope was going to be, they charged an extra like dollar or two per meal or per item or something like that. So In New York? Gonna, yeah, or yeah. Well, in Philly. I was watching this video about a school in Philly and his dad went there. And it was when the when the pub came there, and his dad was going bad on like the superintendent and um and and the uh, <coughs> school because I guess the school is like really fucking shitty. It's like really like fucked up, it's nasty, it's garbage. And then the day that the pub came, they like completely had a big ass like uh like a clean up, like they had all the kids clean it up and shit, and made it like look like it, it made like, it look nice, made it look hella pristine and that. And the dad was like, you motherfuckers. It's just always hella fucked up, and then the Pope come, and you guys give it that, like you give it, like trying to get some. They're trying to get some, uh, some credit. You know what I mean? Right. Make it seem like that they're always that. Well, shit, I wouldn't want the Pope coming over to my house when it's hella dirty. He'd be like, "What the fuck is this?" Shit? Hey man, you There's gotta let, I let him everywhere. in. I let him in. I'd be like, "Hey, Pope, turn up. What's up? What's up, bro? What's up, I get this bottle. Fucking, uh, corona. What, you, what you want to talk about, Pope? Hey, Pope, you can fuck my bitch. <laughs> Whoa, that's Whoa, black for me. Black for me. Oh. Hey, I'm not being hypocritical, all right? <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, <laughs> anyways, man, it's been a good podcast. Shout out to our people who are, who are checking us out on Periscope at Noby Inf Gang. I am Noby Inf Gang. You can check me out on Twitter at Noby Inf Gang. You can check me out on Facebook. Just type in Noby Inf Gang. Um, you can check us all out at Inf Gang and or Bank I mean, on Cousin Bank. Cousin yeah. Bank, you can Google me, yeah. K-U-Z-Z-N-B-A-N-K. Where else can they reach you at, at Bank? I, uh, Instagram, Instagram Cousin Bank, Twitter, Cousin Bank, at, 20, uh, uh, yes, at okay, Cousin Bank 707, um, Facebook, Cousin Bank, or, you know, all that. Just Google my fucking name. Whoop. Google me. You can find Google. my YouTube. What about Roman? 
Where can they reach you at, Roman? Man, you can give me at Facebook, Roman Grimsley Inf Gang, Twitter at Roman INF. <laughs> Nigga, you can find me on Bandcamp, Roman Grimsley. Bandcamp. Roman Grimsley, mm. Roman Grimsley. Bandcamp. Mm. Something, something, something. Mm. I'm on Reverb Nation. Roman Grimsley. Yeah. You feel me? Uh, yeah. Also, we got some announcements. Uh, the Inf Gang will be live in, where is Hollywood? Marysville, California. Marysville, California. Marysville. The Mars night before Bill. Halloween, I believe, right? Oh, let me yeah. tell The 29th, uh, Gmo will be performing live. I'll be performing live. The whole gang will be up there. We'll be getting vampire. October, vampire. October 27th, midnight. See me on that Halo 5 on the Xbox One, you Whoa. bitch. What's your name on there? Master Poo. <laughs> <Number one. laughs> I forgot. No, no games, son. Let me tell him this. I'm fucking you up. Let me tell him this. I'm happy about this. First off, Snapchat, everybody. You can get me at Cousin Bank. I know Nobi got one. Nick yeah. Cats Films, hit me. Nobi I just gang. recently, last week, signed a distribution deal. Hey! It's a big deal for me, and I'm happy about it. Yeah. So everything from here on out <coughs> will have higher quality. Not that it hasn't already had Whoa! Quality. Not that it already hasn't oh, had higher fuck quality. fuck it out of here. What I'm saying is, is I have more, what I'm basically saying is higher quality, I have more avenues in, to, to distribute my shit. So... Yeah. Shout out Suge Knight to signing him. Yeah. Right. I know, yeah. Right. But uh, yeah, man. Beats, beers, and blunts. Beach. It's been another great episode. Appreciate you tuning in. Yeah. Hit that like button on YouTube. Share the shit. Share. It. Share your bitch. Share your bitch. Yeah. Be out of here. I want y'all to bitch too. Bitch, bitch gang. Yeah, for y'all on the web, can we about this show? You feel me? M gang. Blah blah blah.